Yes! On the bacon! Yes! Stay on the hook, don't you spit it. Oh, he's barely hooked. And today, got some Jimmy Dean bacon. Oh, yes. That is definitely gonna catch a fish. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is your first time tuning in. My name is Brandon. I fish here along the Alabama Gulf Coast for just about anything and everything. Today, as you can see, we're gonna stay inshore. We're gonna be throwing around some of these docks and also some jetties as well. We're gonna be floundering around, as some should say. And I do have a bait that I plan on using a little bit later if we do find some fish. That's why I'm starting a little bit later because I had to stop at the Greer's and pick up our bait. But that's only if we get on some fish. So y'all will see that later in the video if we do get on some. If y'all do enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. Let's get to fishing. All right, y'all. We have got a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. It's about eight o'clock right now. We are on a rising tide and it should stop rising about noon. So we've got about two and a half hours of moving water before it comes to a standstill and that's what I do like when I'm doing any kind of fishing. And all we're gonna be doing is kind of throwing around all these dock legs. We might ease around some of these jetties as the water gets a little higher. And we're just doing a little floundering around. I did catch some bait earlier this morning as you've seen. They were a little on the bigger side than I like to use, but it is still live bait nonetheless. So when I'm flounder fishing around all these dock legs and stuff, I'm trying to cast my bait as close to each one of them poles as possible. Sometimes, as you'll see, I'll knock it off a pole, but those flounder are gonna be nose up on that structure. Very rarely will they be out away from it. And it just kind of takes some time to kind of locate where they're liking to be at. I know they're here in this area. I have caught them here before. Right now I'm throwing the Z-Man Houdini, it's a five inch jerk bait. Does really well for flounder, speckled trout, redfish as well. That's a flounder. Oh my goodness, it's a baby. <laughs> Ooh, that's what we're looking for, but definitely not the right size. Good googly goo. That sucker is a whole eight inches. Grow up for us. That's a good sign though. There is fish here. Let's see if we can get us a bigger one here. He was right up on them rocks too. Almost felt like a little croaker bite. There's a flounder. I knew there'd be one over there by them stairs. Oh yeah. There he is. A little bit better one. A little bit better one. No, is that a flounder? Fighting weird. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> he barely hooked. I bet he's just holding on to the tail. Oh no, he's hooked decent. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's about an 18 and a half inch fish. Yes. Oh yeah, that one right there wanted the electric chicken, five inch jerk bait by Z-Man. It's a good looking flounder right there. We don't even have to measure that fish. We are gonna throw him in the live well, cause I am Wanting some fried fish, but y'all check that out. That bait just came right out. He never even, that hook was never even in his mouth. But what a good fish. Well, that does confirm that there are fish here in about a 30 foot stretch. We caught two flounder, one was about 10 inches, and then that one was probably around 18 inches. So we're gonna see if we can catch one more on this Z-Man artificial bait here, and then we're gonna swap over to the good stuff. That jerker was right up on them rocks. I'm, I'm talking, I may have had two or three bumps off the bottom and he was on it. Oh, what is that? Is that a croaker? <laughs> wow, that croaker slammed it. 
<laughs> Little croaker. That'd be amazing offshore bait. Boom. Who needs a bait caster? Hard to beat a spinning reel. There he is. Flounder number three. Ooh. He was way off the rocks. Another little, little juvenile flounder. Gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. He's starving. Come on. Boop. <laughs> well, that's good to see. That is good to see. I'm anxious to see what my other bait can do. I sure would like to catch one more to put in the live well though, just to confirm that uh, the fish are definitely here, which I think we've already done that because we've caught three fish in 10 minutes right here. There he is. Decent fish. Can we eat them? <laughs> I can't believe I just yeeted that fish. That's like a another 18 inch fish. Man, man. Woo! Yep, that guy was right on them poles. That is a quality fish right there, y'all. 19 and a half inch flounder. Again, on the electric chicken, Z-Man five inch jerk bait. That's what it's all about right there. He thumped it too. Let him have it for about three or four seconds, set the hook. Get your heart going right there. We're also gonna stick this guy in a live well. This is gonna make for some, some great fried flounder. And that's what we're gonna do with it. Yeah, I want you to look at this. I had my rod dangling in the water while I was getting a drink of water and a dang gaff top ate the Z-Man. <laughs> it was just dangling in the water. <sighs> Go ahead and get him off. That's a pain in my butt. You are a pain in my butt. I'm glad you're small. All right, so we have two fish in the box. That's plenty enough for me to eat. So if we don't catch another one for the rest of the day, I'm totally fine with that. But y'all know I like to keep things interesting on this channel. And one of those things is trying just random weird baits to see if they catch fish. And today, got some Jimmy Dean bacon. First of all, I didn't realize bacon was so as expensive as they were these days. This was like $8 at Greer's. But it's all right. If we catch a flounder on it, it's totally worth it. And so this is not my original idea. I have seen other YouTubers use bacon to catch fish, but I have not. And I got to see for myself since... The flounder fishing is so great right now. The tricky part is gonna be trying to keep this bait on the hook and I left the twine that I was gonna to use to kind of tie it on in my truck. So we may have to use some fishing line, but let's go ahead and cut this pack of bacon open. And you know what the best part is? Even if we don't catch a flounder on it, I've got bacon to eat when we get to the house. <laughs> so let's see if they like some hickory smoked bacon. Get one of these pieces out here. We're gonna try and rig this up to where it kind of looks maybe like a like an eel or a snake or something like that. Let's see. Try and get it on this fatty part here. Maybe if we fold it up, get it past. Oh yeah, I think that'll work. I might not even have to tie a piece of string on there. Let's see what it looks like in the water. Oh yes. That is definitely gonna catch a fish. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to throw this. All right, bacon going out. Hopefully it stays on the hook. I would really, really thoroughly enjoy catching a flounder on a piece of bacon. No way. I just had a bite. First thing cast. What? Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna be a problem. Catfish like bacon. <laughs> That's a problem. 
give me my bacon back. If we can keep it out there long enough to where the dang catfish and croakers don't eat the, the bait, I'm sure a flounder would hit it. I don't think we're gonna be able to keep it away from them. They're already on it. What is that? Croaker. <laughs> well, if the croaker and the catfish like the bacon, I'm sure a flounder would eat it too. I can already tell these dang croakers are gonna be a pain in my butt trying to catch a flounder on this bacon here, but we're gonna we're gonna give it at least 30 minutes. Boom. Come on, Flatty. You know you want it. Get some of that apple wood. Oh no. Is that him? Oh! Oh, <laughs> it is a flounder <laughs> on the bacon. He ain't but eight inches, but it's a flounder and he's got a shrimp in his mouth. I can see the whiskers coming out. Look at that. Y'all tell me that is not cool right there. <laughs> Smallest flounder we've caught today on a piece of bacon. That is stinking awesome right there. That was nothing but a little sliver of fat, pretty much. Let's get you back in the water, buddy. Bye-bye. Well, it was not a big one, but that absolutely confirms that it is true, that they will eat it. That's a catfish. Dang. Oh. Oh, catfish. Dang, thought you was a flounder. Well, unfortunately, hard-headed catfish love bacon. So they're kind of being a pain in my butt. So we're gonna go back to what we were using to catch the flounder to start with. And then if we do catch another one or maybe two in a row, we will definitely swap back over because I know the fish are here. It's just a matter of getting past all these trash fish and Makes it a pain in my butt catching hardhead catfish. One of my least favorite fish to catch. Oh, that's a flounder. Good one. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost thought I had a rock for a minute. That is a really good fish. Oh my goodness, I think, yeah, another quality fish. Oh, stay on the hook, stay on the hook, don't you spit it. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, good fish, good fish. Come on, stay on the hook. Get in the net, yeah! <laughs> Y'all, oh my goodness, what a fish, that is a mat, make sure he gets in the boat, golly, that's 20 inches all day, oh man, got through like eight times in that corner right there, before he finally hit it, wow. Wow, wow. Let's get this hook out of you. Yep, that was not on the bacon. It got kind of slow and the catfish and croakers and stuff were tearing my bait up. So I threw back on this uh, Z-Man Houdini and it got it done. That is a heck of a fish and he's got something huge in his belly. He is full with something. Let's get the bogus on them real quick. Yep, a little over four pounds. It's a good dang fish. Y'all check out the mouth on that joker. Why couldn't you have ate that bacon? I know you wanted it. That's an Alabama mat right there. Dang good fish. 
I'm gonna guess she's probably about 20 inches. She's got a full belly too. We haven't really caught a lot today, but the ones other than the Chi Chi's have been quality fish. We're gonna stick her in the live well as well. I ain't stopping until I get a keeper on this bacon. I ain't telling you. We're gonna do it right here. If I don't get on a rock. Oh yeah. Good looking spot. Good looking spot. Uh-oh, I'm on. That's a flounder. No, it's not. Dang. Croaker right on the rocks. Would you get off my bait? Oh, yeah. Another good fish. Another good fish. Way out here. Let's hit spot lock. Ooh, he's pretty. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was going to spit it. I almost got him, too. Ah. Oh, dang. Oh, well. We got a little storm popping up in the background. I think this pressure dropped kind of got the bite firing off a little bit also it's <clears throat> a little afternoon so the tide is probably just now starting to fall again this morning we were fishing on a rising tide and now it should be starting to fall huh i might need to oh I'm already on just hit the water oh my gosh i was looking at that storm over there in the background thinking Dang, it's raining. But I'm catching fish. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, that might be a wrap, y'all. Ended on a little small flounder. Mama didn't raise no quitter. They gotta be stacked up right there if I just hit that one on the head. Oh, that's a flounder. That's a flounder. Yeah. Mama didn't raise no quitter. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it's a keeper. It's, oh no. <laughs> yes. On the bacon. Yes. <laughs> oh, I knew. It was gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> oh, calm down, calm down. It only took four hours and about a dozen hard hit catfish, but we finally got us a legal fish on the bacon. And he swallowed it too, he liked it. But he's probably sitting at about 15 inches. We're definitely gonna be throwing him in the live well. Oh my gosh, I didn't think we were gonna be able to do it today. And as soon as it started raining, you know, the bite kind of kicked on and I think that pressure dropped and also the tide started falling. So yes, I'm happy. We can end the video now. <laughs> well, we came out here and did what we said we were gonna do and that was catch flounder on a piece of bacon. It only took four hours, but we did do it. We got some quality fish in the live well. We probably caught maybe 10 fish in about four hours or so. So I would say that is a pretty dang good day. As soon as it started raining here on us, we got on a pretty decent bite. But if y'all would like to see any more videos just like this one, y'all be sure to go check out these videos right here. Y'all please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you back out on the water next time.